Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the new Duonamic Alivia door frame portable pull-up bar. So the reason why I'm making this video is because with everything going on at the minute, people are struggling to find ways to be able to work at home or because of certain circumstances, whether it's whether they rent, whether whatever door frames they have, some people are finding it difficult to find the right one. So I bought myself a couple of pair of these. These weren't sent out to me, I had to pay for them with my own money. However, I do have an affiliate link down below. If you do want to get yourself this, if you use the code LDK10, that'll get you 10% off a discount. And they have a few other products which I'll talk about in a minute. But I wanted to make this review because there are a lot of people out there that have a typical door frame pull-up bar, or they bought one, or they're not sure if it's gonna fit, or they've got other concerns when using one. Before we get into that though, if you're new here and interested in anything to do with calisthenics, bodyweight fitness, workout videos, hints and tips, or even equipment reviews, make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notified of whenever I upload. And if you have any questions or you wanna create a discussion, please use the comment section down below. And if you took value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I've got the new Calisthenics merch. So if you're new here, you may not be aware of this, but I've launched a Calisthenics line of clothing where it's gonna be vests, t-shirts, and hoodies. At the minute, I've got a muscle up one, pull up ones built by rings and built by calisthenics so if you want to go and check them around the link down below the very top one the teespring one that is up there so if you want to get some calisthenics clothing a lot of it isn't out there so if you want to get something that's specialized to what form of training you do or what your passions lie in make sure you check that out and every time you do it does help support this channel so with that out of the way let's get into the video so i saw one of these on my instagram and instantly thought okay this is really cool this is a great idea i have new numerous pull-up bars and I've used numerous pull-up bars over the years. I've also got numerous different um, portable pull-up bars. I've got suspension trainers and I'm one of those people that I like to have my gadgets, I like to have my gear and I get excited when getting new equipment and seeing what it's like to train with and seeing how it feels differently with the body. It's just fun to do. So I saw these and I thought, okay, with everything going on around the world at the minute, something like this and giving people information on a product like this is going to be really important. So. Basically, I got these in the post, you get two handles. So the main mechanism of this, and the great thing about this is it's a very, very simple design. The main of it is with this locking system where this spring is just gonna lock it into place. And this is what hooks onto your door frame. And that's it, the overall construction is light, but it feels very, very strong and durable. The plastic is solid. The bits on the end, this is the important thing, is this is hard, or like has a good strong construction but it doesn't feel like it's going to damage your door frame and this is a big concern with people with door frames but I'll get into that in a second the other thing I like about this is this sort of handle when it rotates so for any of you that are unaware of why that is important is if you've got something where you have that ability if you want to you don't have to but by having that ability to be able to rotate slightly it's going to be a lot easier on your joints on your wrists on your elbows and a lot of people especially when it comes to the chin up will find that the, the inside of their elbow they get a lot of pain doing that because when you're in that bottom portion of the, the chin up like naturally depending on what your mobility affects which some people tend to be a lot of people are internally rotated so again getting in that externally rotated position is going to be uncomfortable or quite difficult for some people but if you're in that externally rotated position and you're hanging all of your weight in that position and you're all the way down here a lot of people after a period of time might find stress in their elbow or in their wrist so it's one of those ones that having that ability to rotate this can make a huge difference to your pull-ups the other thing is as well is you can actually switch these i didn't manage to get them at the time but if you can actually switch these grips they actually have some climber grip ones so if you're someone that wants to take your you know your pull-ups to a different level really focus on your grip training they have these little boards where you can actually put it in and you can actually start doing finger pull-ups and you can change the, how many fingers you have or the depth in which you can have so if you want to take it so you want to make your climbing a little bit so let's say the climbing centers whatever you can climb but you still want to be able to still work your grip training your finger strength you can actually hang some different grips on it. I'll get a picture up so you can see what I'm on about. You can switch these over and you can do sort of finger pull-ups. So that's great there. So the actual design is very, very simple, very, very light. What I really like about this is for any of you that want to go traveling, whether you're going on holiday, like going abroad, so you're gonna be needing your carry-on, or maybe you're just traveling around um, different places, like you can stay in your country, Airbnb, whatever it is. Look how portable this is. The fact that you've got two of them, 
that is gonna fit in any bag. You can get a little carry case that comes with it and that's fine, but look how portable that is. Like you'll be able to fit that in a little rucksack in the case that it comes with, or this can go in your carry-on luggage. So if you go abroad a lot and you still wanna be able to go on holiday and do a workout because some places don't have a gym, and if they do, they charge you more. At least this way you can hang this up on their door frame and you can still do pull-ups. So if you were to compare the travel size of something like this compared to that, the traveling is going to be a lot easier with something like this. When it comes to the actual application of the door frames, and this is very, very important and something that I'm in a position with it now, but I haven't bought my house, I'm renting. So for many of you, you're worried that if you have a typical door frame pull-up bar, you're worried that something like this, let's see if that's hooked on properly. This is why the other one's a lot better. You might be worried about damage to your door frame and that's perfectly reasonable. Again, people don't want to lose their deposits or get charged because door frames are being damaged. So with this, you're going to have different points where there's going to be even just like abrasion where it leaves like maybe a black mark or something like that. And I've had that on different pull-up bars. This bit is going to be rubbing up and down here, which can damage your door frame. Some of them may feel because obviously you're only hooking on one side of the, the door frame. You might find that one side takes more of a grunt, so that damages it. And just stuff like that, it can damage a door frame. And you might be hesitant to buy a door frame pull-up bar because you don't want to damage it. But the great thing about this is, this, like, I guess it's like a really hard plastic, but it feels like it could be soft, but it's not. But it has this nice finish and touch to it. And a lot of the other reviews that I watched on it before I bought it said that after months and months of use, there was no damage to the door frame. But the key thing is it hooks onto both sides of the door frame. So if the only contact point that it's going to have is on the top of here, which let's be honest, a, a landlord or someone who's you're renting your house off isn't going to be getting up on the ladder and checking the top of these door frames to see if there's any abrasion. But again, this is very like, it doesn't feel like it's the plastic where it's going to rub. This one feels like it's kind of like a really hard foamy type of thing, but it isn't going to cause damage to the top of the frame. And because the weight is evenly distributed on both sides, it's going to be safe on a door frame in general. Obviously, you want to make sure that you check every door frame to see if there's any cracks or make sure that the door frame itself is sound before you use any pull-up bar. But on the contact points that you have, you're less likely to damage your door frame with one like this. So that's a key thing for any of you that rent. The other problem that you have like, with a normal door frame pull-up bar is the space that you need for something like this. Like, depending on how wide your door frame is, like this is a long door frame bar. If you were to use a typical, the cheaper ones, door frame, it wouldn't fit in here. Door frame is too wide. Like you wouldn't have, because you need the points on either side as well as the bits to hook on the top. You don't have that on some things, or here it would be too wide. Where with that one, any door frame is going to fit. So you have to make sure that you've got the right width. In some cases, as well, if you put the door frame in and they are narrower, some of the door frames, if it's too close to the wall, it's got nowhere that you can actually put it on, or you're kind of stuck against the wall. So again, that might not work. You might have ones where just depending on where the door frame is or how thick it is or how wide it is, you might not be able to actually use a door frame pull-up bar like typically one like this at all. They just might not fit your door frame. So you're in a position where you're looking to work out from home for whatever's going on at the minute and you literally cannot find a door frame pull-up bar that will actually fit your door frames. So you're stuck with that. The other thing you can look at is obviously if you've got ones like these, you don't need to worry about the size whether it's too wide, too narrow, whether it's close to the wall or not. The other thing that I forgot to mention as well is you normally have to attach these door frame pull-up bars on the opposite side of the door. And for some of you, you might find that the way that you open the door or close the door, there isn't enough room for you to be able to do your pull-ups. Or if you wanted to hang some gymnastic rings off them and start you know, experiment with more exercises like ring push-ups, ring dips and things like that, depending on the position or what side you put the door frame, that might not be possible. Where you've got these, you literally just hook on and you're good to go. Done. So not only is it more portable, it's lighter and stronger, it's a lot easier to put on. It's literally just hook and go. And depending on, you might have a door frame that's wider or narrower, it will hook on. Obviously, they've got some information on their site where they're obviously going into more detail about how wide the door frame is and different things like the ledge maybe, but that's something you can check. But other than that, you can set up, hook it on, and there, you're good to go. The other thing I like about the fact that these are 
You've got two of them. So as opposed to it being one anchor site where you can do pull-ups, if you're working on doing, say, one-arm pull-ups, if you were to use a normal pull-up bar and you wanted to distribute more of your weight onto one side, it will actually tilt and twist. Where this one, because you've got independent anchor points on each one, you can focus more on one than you do on the other. If you wanted to work on a one-arm chin-up or different things like that, or if you wanted to work on the archer one, if you were doing that on a normal pull-up bar, you have to distribute the weight evenly coming down on both sides. Where this one, because they're separately connected to the door frame, you can do what you want with them, whether it's one arm training, archer pull-ups, whatever it is, you have that ability. But here, you're paying for the fact that you've got a door frame pull-up bar that is more likely to fit on more door frames than a typical one. The issue that you're gonna find with the right size door frame, how wide it is, where it's situated, what side the door is, that is never gonna be an issue. You've got something now that if you're taking away on holiday, um, whether you're staying in the same country or you're traveling abroad, you can take this very, very easily on carry-on luggage. It will fit in a carry-on luggage case or in a rucksack if you're just staying somewhere local. So this can fit in in most positions. So it's not gonna, you are not gonna then not be able to work out because you cannot take your door frame pull-up bar with you. When it comes to these, honestly, they're fantastic. Finish your workout, pop them off. Straighten your luggage, you're good to go. So that is what you're paying for, guys. So if you want to take advantage of the discount code that I have down below, it'll be LDK10. That'll get you 10% um, off. So make sure you check them out. Honestly, this is a great buy. Where this is gonna be something that isn't gonna damage your door frame, it will fit virtually every door frame that you can get. Again, check their website for exact measurements of the best thing, the best door frames for it. But as I can, I've tested it in different places and it works on a lot of them. So that's something that you're gonna be paying for. Like I said, it's a bit more money than a normal door frame, but what you're getting for that far outweighs the cost in my opinion. And that was what originally took, got me to buy them. So guys, if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, give it a share for anyone that's looking for a door frame pull-up bar. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. And if you want more content like this, so calisthenics um, or bodyweight fitness content, whether it's hint or tips, workouts, or more calisthenics reviews, make sure you subscribe to that. And I will see you guys in the next video.